Reet then lads and lasses, how we doing and welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful day. Now, firstly lads and lasses, you might be thinking, what on earth is Jordy Josh doing uploading at this time? Not only is it very, very late, but what he's uploading on may become very irrelevant very, very soon. Of course, yes, that is true lads and lasses. But look, I wasn't actually planning on doing a YouTube video today. There's been no news of Newcastle United. It's been actually pretty desolate, the news around Newcastle recently. No transfers, no sort of player outbreaks or anything like that. But, as we all know, tomorrow... Newcastle United and Adidas will end their 14 year drought as we are set to partner up in what is a legendary relationship between the kit supplier and Newcastle United. Well lads and lasses, wait no longer. Newcastle United's official 2024-25 home shirt will be uh, made for you to watch in this video. We've got official leaks of what the kit does look like and I've got to say in my opinion, although many people have sort of put uh, dirt on its name, I actually quite like it. And also lads and lasses, we also have uh, an early look at what Newcastle United and Adidas's Official merchandise will look like next season, of course. There will be a lot, uh, a lot of merchandise, but we've got quite a few uh, bits of t shirts, hoodies, polo shirts, all that sort of stuff. So we'll take a look at that as well, because also, might be a bit biased, yeah, because I support the club, but it's absolutely gorgeous. So look, lads and lasses, before we get into the video, hit the thumbs up button if you do enjoy, and of course, subscribe if you are new to the Georgie Josh channel for all Newcastle United content. And the main one as well, let me know down below if you like the 2024 25 home shirt. In my opinion, of course, we'll get into it, but I absolutely adore it. This shirt has been bigged up like never before, lads and lasses. Honestly, what a legendary relationship we have between Newcastle United and Adidas, uh, the good old days, so to speak. But let's be real, with this new Adidas partnership, we're going to be writing our own history as the future of the club looks absolutely fantastic. But look, let's not mess about. Let's take a look at what Newcastle United's 2024-25 home shirt will look like. But of course, we'll get an official, official look uh, at it tomorrow. But don't worry, this is genuinely real. It's not so of... It might be. Let's take a look at what it will look like. I've got to say, lads and lasses, I am actually liking it, of course. I'm looking, like, seriously, I'm looking to my right now. So we'll kind of describe it together. We've got the Adidas logo, which... Thank oh, not the club crest. Thankfully, he's replacing this one. And uh, in recent years, we've seen like the Adidas logo and then Adidas in lettering underneath it. This one, it's just a plain Adidas logo. I mean, everyone knows what it is. Sella looking exactly the same. Noon looking exactly the same. Uh, the Adidas gold thing in the bottom right corner. But one thing that many people have actually raised eyebrows on is that collar. They don't seem to be fans of it. And I've got to say... I'm actually not too much against it. Of course, you all let me know down below and don't just think, oh, because Jordy Josh has said it's nice. You have to say it's nice. Let me know down below. What's your thoughts on that collar? I've got to say, it's not genuinely too bad in my opinion, of course. The shoulders have got them Adidas stripes as well. And if we take a look at the back, by the way, lads and lasses, we can all see that it's actually kind of the Champions League font. Um, there's no stripes going up the back as there always has been with red lettering. This looks like it could be black lettering on the back of Newcastle United shirts. Now, of course, yet again, it's completely bland on the back apart from that little section at the bottom and on the back of the neck it's got a retro badge which I don't know why but it's a fantastic little addition isn't it um yeah can't wait to see that in real life when I go tomorrow and also lads and lasses before we get onto the merchandise I will be going down uh, to the kit launch tomorrow at the temporary Newcastle United store so stay tuned for that vlog by the way probably be uploaded at either 12 or 5 p.m I'll make my mind up tomorrow and of course I will let you all know but uh, yeah that should be hectic but at the same time very, very fun. But it doesn't stop there, ladies and gentlemen. Away from the official home shirt, let's take a look at what our merchandise with Adidas could look like next season, of course. We've only got about six things here, but there will be, uh, you know, tens and tens of their merchandise available next season. From caps, to shirts, to shorts, to socks probably. Um, I don't think I'd be buying them. But look, let's take a look at what Valentino Livermento is pretty nicely uh, modelling for us here. We've got a, a zip jacket, we've got a hoodie in the bottom right corner and a t-shirt as well. Can't say I'm the biggest fan of the t-shirt by the way. Of course, this is the training gear. Obviously, you can buy that. That zip jacket, I actually really, really like. I know I'm going to say I like absolutely everything, but I genuinely do like it. And that hoodie in the bottom right as well, yeah, I'm buying that every day of the week. Certainly, that shirt though, it, it's not my type of shirt in my opinion but lads and lasses of course it's in the typical black and white we've also got it in another colour which reminisces uh, a very famous Newcastle United I believe it was 1995 uh, jacket which you will see in just a second and you might see the resemblance yourself and it's exactly what we've just seen but just in a different colour it's more so 
I don't want to say purple, it's not purple at all, but I think you kind of get what I mean. Maroon, sort of red, so to speak, honestly. Uh, I'm not too clued up on, like, posh colours, uh, shall we call it my sort of language. But it's exactly what we have just seen with the Newcastle United uh, memorabilia there. But actually, I think in the bottom right, Tino's wearing a sort of more of a coat, or what he actually is just wearing on the left there, rather than a hoodie. There might be one of them available. Lewis Hall is also modelling a polo shirt, which is a very, I wouldn't say a very, but it's certainly a different tone uh, of colour to what Tino is modeling i've got to say i really do like that as well and of course you will see on the screen now you know exactly what that's resembling uh, from a very long time ago i believe it was 1995 if you were uh, around that era do let me know down below if i am wrong or right but i've got to say it looks good so far from Adidas. It really, really does. Now, on yesterday's video, I said, lads, of course, you will be able to buy the shirt from the temporary store just outside St. James's Park, but I don't know if you actually can get it from anywhere. It has now been confirmed. You can get it from JD stores. Now, I don't know exactly, you know, if every single one is available for the Newcastle United shirts, but one that is undoubtedly confirmed, as the Metro Centre have confirmed it themselves uh, on their Instagram, that you can get it from the Metro Centre store, uh, of course, the JD store in the Metro Centre tomorrow at 8am uh, you can get it from there and of course the Newcastle United temporary shop just outside St James's Park yet again just to re uh, reiterate the prices the generic home shirt adult version just this one here not the pro version just you know the general one will cost you £80 the pro shirt of it, the adult version will cost you £110 and of course the kids replica version this one but a kid's size will cost you £55 Lads and lasses, I've got to say, I am absolutely buzzing for this. I don't know if it's just because it's Adidas or any of that sort of stuff. A retro badge on the back. Oh, they might be clawing win with the money, like, but of course, we're going to be absolutely buzzing for it, and I certainly will be buying one tomorrow. But there we'll have it, lads and lasses. As always, if you did enjoy the video, because it was just a, a pretty short one, I honestly, what is it now, half past six, I didn't realise I'd ever be doing a video this late, but I hope you have all enjoyed. Thumbs up if you have, lads and lasses, and of course, subscribe if you are new. Are you a fan of the home shirt? In my opinion, I really do like it as well, and one thing we actually didn't touch upon, uh, of course, this is kind of, would you say, embroidered or stitched, this badge? As you can see on that one it looks quite laminated we don't know if it's going to be like that in real life fingers crossed it is because i really do like them badges by the way but without further ado lads is, uh, lads and lasses i will see you tomorrow for the kit launch vlog i'm going to be there very nice and early i might not be the first one in the line that's uh, going to be waking up a bit too early but i will see you all tomorrow so stay tuned for that it will be uploaded to the channel uh, no matter the time so make sure the notification bells are turned on i've been jordy josh see you all later